So when would you want this whole body male shot? Adrenaline is involved in the fight or flight response, which occurs for example when a bear comes round the corner and you need to prepare either to fight it or to run away. Bears often seem to threaten physiologists, especially in lectures. Adrenaline then will increase the heart rate and the force of heart contraction, so the increased cardiac output allows more blood to be delivered around the body. Adrenaline promotes the dilatation of the arterioles to skeletal muscle, so the extra blood in particular is going to the muscles which you need in order to run away or to fight. Adrenaline goes to the bronchioles in your lung and causes them to dilate so it becomes easier to breathe. And it causes the liver to release glucose. The glucose can be used by the muscles as an energy supply. These effects can last for several minutes during the period of time we call the adrenaline rush and that gives you long enough, hopefully, to deal with the emergency situation. Adrenaline, the hormone, and noradrenaline, the neurotransmitter, both work on the same receptors, which are known as adrenergic receptors or adrenoceptors. These are on the plasma membrane because adrenaline and noradrenaline are water-soluble and they're G-protein coupled receptors, GPCRs. That means that just a small amount of transmitter will initiate a cascade within the cell which will amplify the effect. There are different types of adrenergic receptor found in different places around the body, which is helpful to us clinically because we can have drugs which will stimulate or inhibit particular subtypes and that allows our drug to have a specific effect. To give some examples, Alpha adrenoceptors are found on blood vessels and promote vasoconstriction. Beta-1 adrenoceptors are on the heart, causing the heart rate to speed up, and these are the ones which are blocked with drugs called beta blockers. If you take beta blockers, your heart won't speed up when you get excited, and that could have a useful protective effect if you have a heart condition. Beta-2 adrenoceptors are found on bronchioles in your lung and cause the bronchioles to dilate. And those are the receptors that asthmatics stimulate when they take a puff from certain types of inhaler. In that case, the drug is activating the receptor instead of blocking it. Beta-3 adrenoceptors are found on brown fat, which is a special type of fat that generates heat, especially in newborn babies. There are many other tissues with adrenoceptors though, so it's important to remember that adrenaline and noradrenaline have multiple other effects around the body too.